Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Uh, for our family month, our children, they've been practicing and they have a variety of presentation to do this morning. And also they are going to get the church involved. We've uh, come up with some questions, some games. We want the church to be involved, so it's going to be a lively one. And uh, they will ask questions. If you know it, you just answer it. Please help our children as much as possible. They want to, they want to know that you, their parents, you are their ministers and you are their preacher. I already told them, I said, they are all preachers. They know the Bible. But wait, you only have a few seconds to answer the questions. All right. Uh, to start with, I'm going to introduce our children. They are going to go on a trip through the Bible from A to Z. All right. Everybody have uh, like four or five alphabets to talk to talk about, and they are going to tell you what they represent in the Bible. Uh, right now, I'll call on all those that are doing the trip through the Bible. Come up. They have practiced so hard for this. They've memorized. I want to also thank our parents that helped them to really practice for this. All right, so I'll sit back and enjoy it. A is for Abraham, the father of many nations. B is for Beersheba, the mother of Solomon, the wisest and richest king on earth. C is for Canaan, the land of promise from where the Messiah would reign forever. D is for David, the king after God's heart. E is for Esther, the queen God used to save Israel in a strange country. F is for Felix, a governor in Caesarea who trembled at the preaching of Paul, but unfortunately failed to repent. G is for Gideon, a mighty man of valor who was a judge in Israel, used by God. God to deliver Israelites from the hand of the Lord. Q is for Queen of Sheba. She came from a long journey to hear the wisdom of Solomon. R, Rehoboam succeeded Solomon as a king in Israel in the early, but, but the kingdom was divided into two during his time. S, Silas, a companion of Paul the Apostle in the early missionary journeys. T is for Thomas, a disciple of Jesus that doubted if Jesus rose from the dead. U, U is for Yuza, a Israelite who died because he put forth his hand to hold the God's Ark of Covenants. 
B is for Vachi, a Persian queen who was replaced by Queen Esther. W, the word wept contained in the shortest verse of the Bible, John 11:35. Jesus wept. X, Exorcist, a king in Persia, also called Azurus, married Queen Esther. Why? Yoke of Jesus, and Jesus said to take it for it is light and easy. Z. Zachariah, a high priest of God, father of John the Baptist. That and that concludes the trip through the Bi our trip through the Bible. From A to Z. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. We want to apologize for those technical glitches. Praise the Lord. The next one is going to be uh, the game. Like I promised you, it's going to be an interactive game. I'm going to introduce one of our children, Chiwendu. She's coming up from this point on. She's going to moderate the game and also talk to us how the game is going to go. Thank you. Okay, good morning, church. How are you guys doing? So we're going to play a game. It's called Who Am I? So it's against brothers and sisters. So the object of the game is that um, the brothers and sisters are going to have three seconds to answer a question that I ask, and whoever gets it right gets five points. So my timekeeper for today is my little sister, Chinanangua. And my recorder for the points is Precious. So everyone will have three seconds to answer the question. And if you keep on talking after three seconds, you're disqualified from the game. OK? So first question goes to the brothers. This is who am I? I am the least of the apostles, but greatly used of God than those who were before me. Who am I? You have to raise your hand. My dad. Oh, yeah, correct. <laughs> we should have done two seconds. OK, to the sisters. I am highly favored, for through me, the Messiah came into the world. Who am I? Oh, Chinmara. Which Mary? Mary, the mother of Jesus. Who else? Was the time up when she said it? No. It OK. Five, five, five points. To the brothers, my parents were filled with the Holy Ghost when I was in the womb. I am the forerunner of Christ. Who am I? Time is up. This goes to the sisters. We. Oh, oh, um, you. Uh, what did you say? John the Baptist. Correct. Sisters. Uh, which one? Okay, okay. I was taught the word of God by my mother and grandmother. I later became a pastor. Who am I? Oh, my dad. Correct. Oh! You have to let, the, let them know if it's for the sisters or for the brothers. I let them know ahead of time. I and forgot. don't forget over here, oh, okay? Oh, 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 my bad, my bad. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Oh, okay. We're going to redo that one. Um, by faith, I walked upon... It's, no one gets that point then. By faith, I walked upon the sea to meet Jesus. This one is for the brothers. But when I doubted, I began to sink. Who am I? Samuel. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So now it's a tie, and we're going to have a tiebreaker. OK. I sought for Jesus at night, for I was afraid to go to him in the day for fear of the Jews. 
Now, whoever raises their hand first and gets it correct gets the point. Who am I? Samuel. No, because I just Nicodemus. Who said Nicodemus? Me. That goes to the sisters. Okay, but it's not over yet. My other person, Excellence, will come up and say some more. Give it up for Excellence. Okay, the seventh one is for the. Okay, the the seventh one is for the brothers. I surrendered my sepulchre for the burial of Jesus. Who am I? Joseph. Okay. Um. Yeah, correct for the brothers. The eighth one is for the sisters. I poured precious ointment on Jesus' feet in preparation for his burial. Who am I? Joshua's mom. Which maybe? Yes. Number nine for the brothers. What? We have a correction for that last question. Can you repeat that question? We are going to disregard that, uh, that answer. I poured precious ointment on Jesus' feet in preparation for his burial. Who am I? For the sisters. Correct. Okay. Number nine for the brothers. Though I love Jesus, but because I was afraid, I denied him three times. Who am I? Same one. Correct. No, no it would have taken too long. It would have taken too long. Number ten for the sisters. I love Jesus so much that I brought my brother to Jesus. Who am I? Um, Ikechi. Correct. Okay. So, five, okay. This is the last question for the brothers. I told Nathaniel about Jesus and I brought him to meet Jesus. Who am I? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. The answer was Philip. Okay, so the sisters win. Praise the Lord. All right, sister. All right. Uh, before we go, I just want to correct that question again. The answer that was given was uh, Mary, the sister of Martha, is actually Mary Magdalene. All right. Oh, I thought you said Mary. Oh, okay. She said Mary Magdalene. Okay, so the sister still won anyway. Good job. Very good. All right, we still have more games. Brothers, this is your opportunity to, move, to come up. Here comes Joseph. He's going to play another game. I'm going to list some events that happened in the Bible, and you're going to say what book of the Bible the events happened in. So let's get it started. My first question is the death of Moses. To brothers first. Samuel. Yes, that's correct. My next question is the serpent of brass, which goes to the sisters. Chinanengwa. Say it again. 
incorrect. The, okay. the next one is Samuel's this birth. Is Ghost of the Brothers. Nobody? Oh, correct. Okay. My next question is Jesus' crucifixion, which goes to the girls. Mercy. Uh, time's up. My, the correct answer was the Gospels of the Bible. Now let's go to my next question. The three Hebrew children in the fiber in the fire, which goes to the brothers. Correct. Next question is going to be a pretty easy question for the girls. Creation of Noah's Ark. Yeah, Genesis, correct. No, but they already said Genesis, so still right. Paul's conversion, which goes to the boys. Uh, oh, yeah. He rose his hand. I just didn't see him. Okay. My next one is dividing of the Red Sea, which goes to the woman. Correct. Yeah, they did that. Hold on. I know I saw. The next question is the killing of Goliath, which goes to the boys. Samuel. That's incorrect. It was first Samuel. You were pretty close though. Now, my last question is Balaam's ass that spoke. Which goes to the girls. No. Balaam's <clears throat> All right. Balaam's ass that spoke. No, sir. Correct. Okay, now let's look at the final scores, and it looks like the brothers win. Yay. The sisters won and the brothers won. No, now we are going to have the tiebreaker. All right, that will be the final win. Here comes Chiwendu to give us the tiebreaker. Hi, guys. It's me. Okay, so today we're going to do the balloon game, and it's like with the children this time. Oh, this is the tiebreaker one. So... The thing is, the children are going to be blindfolded, and they'll, one at a time, they'll each have to pop one of these balloons up here. And um, whoever finds the scripture in the balloon first wins. Okay, never mind. I'm giving you a question first. Okay. Um, okay, so this one, who's ever answered it first? So this one's five, this is five seconds, this one. I told my mistress of the prophet in Israel who could cure her husband of leprosy. Who am I? Saul Chinamaram. Sister Doris, does the little slave maid count as name and servant girl? Okay, sisters get that point. We win. It's not real. It wasn't real. I said it went to anyone. Yeah. What she said. Okay, now it's the balloon game. So two children will be blindfolded. Our people are Marvelous and Gloria. And um, whoever finds the scripture in the balloon first wins. 
So give it up for Marvelous and Gloria. For this, this is only, for this, for this, this is only three seconds. It was five. Okay. Okay, it's one at a time. So Gloria goes first for three seconds. Ready, set, go. Find the balloon and. Oh, never mind. We have to find something to pop the balloons. I'm sorry. Okay, we found something to pop the balloons. Okay, ready, set, go. Time's up. Um, can we find something sharper, like scissors or? We found a toothpick. Okay, restart. Okay, timer ready. Ready, set, go. Oh! You keep on popping. No scripture. Marvelous' turn. Give it up for Marvelous. Tamaka! Three, two, one, go! go. Time's up. So does Sister Doris, does Gloria go like... Samuel? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Samuel, you ready? Three, two... Three, two, one. Go. Time's, Time's up. I'm sorry, Samuel. We need a girl now. After the time is up. Can we have a girl, please? And catchy. Phrase, okay. Phrase, phrase. No, 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 no. He's doing three. Okay. Three, two, one. Time's up. Time's up. Can I have a, a brother, please? Okay, Joshua. Someone's gonna pop the balloon. Three, two, one, go. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Time's up. Time's up. <laughs> Sister Doris, can I please have Daniel come up? I need one more girl to make it even. Girl, Samuel. Analika. Okay.
three, two, one. Our scripture is from Matthew 19, verse 14. But Jesus said, Suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 19, verse 14. Sisters win. Thank you. Oh. I'm back. David, you're up. He's going to be reading a scripture verses. Get up for David. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Acts 2 verse 39. When I call to remembrance the unfined faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in my grandmother, Louise, and thy mother, Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 5. Now we're going to be singing a song about children, which we are. Thank you. Child, I am a blessed child. Amen. I am. 